Alright, so we have this problem. Water is pumped into a tank that is shaped like the right inverted cone shown above. The cone has a base diameter of 12 feet and a height of 4 feet. What is the volume in cubic feet of the water in the tank if the height of the water is 2 feet? Since we're dealing with volume and since we're given a right cone, we could write down the formula for the volume of right uh, cone, which is going to be V is equal to, volume is equal to pi times r squared times the height over 3. Now you may be thinking, oh, well, uh, they want us to find the volume when the height is 2 feet, so I'll just plug in 2 feet for the height and 6 for the uh, radius. You know, this is easy, easy problem. Well, this is actually wrong, because if you look at this, if you see, let's just say this was 2 feet right here, you can obviously see that our diameter is going to be different, it's going to be smaller. So we can't necessarily use 12 feet to figure out our answer. This is how they trick you on the ninth grade SHSAT, you have to be careful for this. So our main goal now is step one, find the volume, but in order to find the volume, we have to find the length of this diameter when we're at two feet. Uh, so how do we do that? Well, we remember that we label this as a right inverted cone, meaning that if we draw a line up, the distance from here to here at this height is going to be the same here and here. If we go up another foot, the distance between here and here is also going to be the same. If we go up another foot, the distance from here to here is going to be the same, since it is since it has a right angle. Uh, what we call this is going to be a proportion. Since it's a right um, cone, it has a right angle, there's going to be a proportion between the diameter and the height. We could write this proportion as 12 over 4. What is 12 over 4? 12 over 4 is equal to 3 over 1, if you simplify it, meaning that for every foot in height, every 1 foot in height, we have 3 feet for our diameter. That's our interval that we're going to be going for. So if we gain 1 foot here, it's going to be 1.5 feet here, 1.5 feet here. If we gain another foot, it's going to be 3 feet here and 3 feet here. So now that we have our proportion, now that we know uh, um, you know, what our proportion is, we can finally solve this. So at 2 feet, right here, right here, uh, our proportion was 3 over 1. If we multiply the bottom and the top by 2, that's going to be 2 feet is going to give us 6 as our diameter. So at 2 feet, our diameter is going to be 6. You know, radius is half of the diameter. 6 divided by 2 is going to uh, be 3. So we know r is equal to 3, h is equal to 2, we can now solve. Uh, v is equal to pi times r, which is 3, 3 squared, times h over 3, which is 2 over 3. V is equal to 9 times, oh, sorry, it'd be easier if I write it the other way around, is equal to, that's, oh my, pi times 9 times 2 over 3. Divide these two by 3 to cancel them out. V is equal to 3 pi times 2, which is equal to 6 pi. Easy to get confused on this. Easy for them to trick you. Don't trick you. Um, remember the volume of a cone. Never forget that. And also remember that whenever you have a right inverted cone, there's always going to be a relationship between the top and the side. You just kind of have to find that. Alright, goodbye.